ahead and start questions with Brad, who's there with you. There's a pretty good chance you're going to see these guys in the playoffs. Based on tonight, what do you think about uh, your chances? Yeah, that's obviously going to be a tough matchup. Uh, they're one of the favorites to win it all. And, I mean, they're a big physical team and knows how to play that has the experience and that has multiple guys that have been there already. And so it's definitely going to be a tough matchup, but, but we're looking forward to the challenge and, and, and getting experience from that. Were there some promising things that you learned tonight? Definitely. I think it was a good um, good, good learning experience for us uh, as a team to play at, against such a high-level team. and. and and it was kind of a preview of what could happen in the playoffs. So I think for both teams, it was probably good. And, um, and you know, now it's going to be a matter of who makes better adjustments uh, if we do see each other in the playoffs. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Kristaps. We'll go to the Zoom. Start with Eddie. Uh, Kristaps, you uh, hit the two three-pointers, and the guys get it tied there at, I think, 101. Uh, and then you had to go out. I guess you needed a breather. How tough was it to get back into it after that? And uh, or did they do something different on you? Yeah, we kind of lost the momentum maybe a little bit. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, even for myself too. After I hit those two threes, um, I still feel I have. I'm, I'm only about 75, 80 uh, percent back in the rhythm of the game and 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 then feel for. Or all the little details and, and things like that. So I'm still on my way there, and, and I just keep thinking about the things I could have done better after those two big threes, and and maybe the game could have went a different way, and and, and we could have kept that momentum going. Uh, but where I'm, I'm learning, I'm always learning, and and uh, it's a tough loss, but but there's definitely things to take away from this. Okay, thanks. Next, we'll move to Saad. Hey, KP, hope you're doing well. Um, you know, a, kind of a two-part question, but the same thing. You know, what it, what is it like playing without Luca on the floor, and how important was it for you to for you to play as well as you did early in the fourth quarter when he was taking his breather? Yeah, I mean, we definitely miss him out there whenever he's not in. And, and uh, you know, that, that two-man game with me and Luca, I think it's really hard to guard for, for any team. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of different things that teams have tried to do with us. And, and I think with each game, we're just uh, learning all the little details to take advantage if they're switching or if they're showing or, or whatever teams are doing and, and, and making sure we make the right decisions in those situations and, and get open looks for, for our teammates or for ourselves. Okay, we'll do two in Spanish and then send you on your way. Um, it will be from the first one from Sebastian Sajo. Hola Cris, bueno, la agencia TELA de Argentina. Uh, Cris, primero preguntarte si sienten que por momentos en el equipo recae la presión mucho sobre Luca, ¿no? Eh, y por otro lado, preguntarte si es por alguna ocasión especial la camiseta del Betis eh, y por qué el Betis y no el Sevilla, la camiseta del Sevilla. Uh, bueno, uh... Es, es para lo que estoy aquí, ¿no? Para quitar un poco la presión de, de Luca, que sabemos que es el focus de, de todos los equipos en, contra quien jugamos. Y, 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 y lo más importante para, para los otros equipos es intentar parar a Luca. Así que para, para eso estamos aquí, para ayudarle y, y intentar quitarle un poco de presión. Eh, y bueno, la camiseta de Betis, porque soy aficionado del Betis. Eh, no, no, solo, o sea, he, he traído cuatro camisetas a, a la burbuja y esta era una de las cuatro, así que me la he puesto ahí. Ok, y la última one will be from uh, Tab Deportes. Hola, Cris, por acá desde Puerto Rico, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Te pregunto, este juego fue bastante cerrado al principio, el primer, la primera mitad del partido. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué pasó luego en, esa tercer, en ese tercer parcial donde vemos que ellos toman ventaja en los primeros minutos de, del parcial? ¿Qué sientes tú que, que pudo haber fallado? ¿Qué pueden mejorar para una futura serie frente, frente a los Clippers? Eh, bueno, es, 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 los partidos de NBA son largos. Eh, siempre, siempre hay momentos de que un equipo hace, un, hace una... Eh, 
eh, mete, mete muchos puntos seguidos o, 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 o pasan cualquier cosa y, y tienen el, el momentum de, del momento. Eh, bueno, lo he dicho un poco raro, pero me he entendido, ¿no? Eh, y, y, y pasan esas cosas. Lo más importante es seguir estando tranquilo en esos momentos y seguir jugando nuestro juego y si hace falta, pues subir el, el, la intensidad en defensa o hacer algunos ajustes. Eh, así que, bueno, nosotros estamos aprendiendo siempre y, y, y hoy, jugando contra un equipo que, que son uno de los favoritos de ganarlo todo, eh, yo creo que ha sido una muy buena experiencia para nosotros. Okay, thanks KP. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.